All right, this is gonna be eye candy for a lot of you guys. Uh, OEM or anything custom that you want to make, you could make. You could use any year model, any custom dash, old hot rods. You have old Mercedes or old Jaguars. You have old vehicles that never had air conditioning. All the components are available for you to modify anything you can possibly dream of or think of. From electric, I mean, check these suckers out. I mean, anything you want to do. It's all available here. You remember your old Yorks and Tecumseh style? Brand new, still made today. Electric water pumps, many, many more electric water pumps, thermal fans, idler pulleys, thermostat housings. You can modify and make anything you could possibly ever. Check out the electric compressors. And I don't know if they're 48 volt. Let's see what their voltage. Yeah, 24 volt electric compressor. There you go, 12 volt electric compressor. Now this is what we need for your hot rod conversions. Uh, 72 volt. So these are all things that you could use in the hot rod conversions, old classic cars. If you want electric compressors, uh, 144 volts. 24 volts. Yeah, no problem here. Oh, belt. <laughs> your fan, your blower motors. It looks like they might have DC brushless right there. I see a big heat sink. Right there. DC brushless? This brushless. Oh, DC brushless. DC brushless here. So these will have your highest output with the least amount of uh, energy consumption. Correct. That's correct. So don't even go with the old technology, guys. Just jump right into DC brushless. Use your one to ten volt, right? One to ten volt to. Well, I'll go actually right oh. up to fourteen. Oh, one to fourteen. No, uh, not the voltage to run, but the voltage to control the speed. Oh, what you do you use? Have to go or one to PDM? Five. Oh, one to five volt. One to five volt. Okay. Control. So like you could use your Arduino, you could use a Raspberry Pi to control something like this and just yes. control it. You could write your own code and you can control all your HVAC, uh, one to five volts. Yep. That's amazing. Absolutely. And we have a nice heat sink here. So this is not your cheap uh, grand auto part. That is no. for damn sure. <laughs> no. This motor alone, the heat sink weighs more than anything you're gonna buy from grand auto. <laughs> Then you have your fuel, gasoline, and diesel. Yep, got them both. And okay. We've got the all electric, and I've got a hydronic as well. Hy hydronic, gasoline, diesel, propane. How about propane? Yeah. yeah oh, can, can do propane too. Modify yeah. for propane. Yep. And this is your water. Yep. Okay, so that's uh. But we've got these in hydronic for water as well. 24 volt, as you guys can see. Does this have DC brushless in it? Or is this? Uh, we can get it DC brushless. It can. It brush okay, currently brushed. You can get it in DC brushless. That is correct. And then Anything is galore, is whatever you want to do. And I do recommend you guys use steel, a little more durable than aluminum. In. If you're in a salt water environment, never put steel to aluminum in if it's going to be exposed. Uh, high vibration, use steel. Uh, mild, use aluminum in on the mild stuff. Just be careful, and they looks like got that some, some fancy hose your hot rodder guys will silicone, want. Silicone heater hose. So, All silicone. silicone heater hose. California. California. Yeah. You must have seen my tube channel. No. <laughs> oh. I remember you from a trade show yes, many years ago. For commercial AC or automotive? Automotive. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I got to do commercial too. All right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. And uh, this is Airworks. 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 The end more part is the important part. Yeah. All right, Airworks. All right.